in the United States, you can get a Volkswagen ID4 Pro now with 291 miles of range, meaning around 500 kilometers of range. That's quite a bit. But what is really most impressive is the fact that that vehicle, after the tax credit, which is a point of sale credit now, meaning you can get that discount at the dealership. You don't have to apply for it as part of your taxes. You get the discount right there and then. Costs 37,700 US dollars. So it's a pretty big car, 291 miles of range, and it costs 37,700 dollars. The Volkswagen ID4, it's just got a big range boost. What's more interesting than the actual range boost itself is how Volkswagen achieved it. They didn't use a bigger battery, they didn't use more energy dense battery. They did it in a different way. And this, this just shows you my point here. This EV batteries in electric cars, their, their range is going up consistently, but it's not just for one reason, it's for numerous reasons. Gigacasting, lighter vehicles, more energy dense battery packs, and better efficiency. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. The Volkswagen ID4 has it's received a, a pretty decent range boost considering Volkswagen have done nothing other than change one very simple thing. The new ID4 has 291 miles of range. I mean, the range is actually not that impressive considering the fact that it's got a pretty big battery pack, but that is a pretty big boost over what it had before. Now, the reason the ID4 hasn't historically been all that efficient is because it's a relatively heavy car. Volkswagen doesn't use gear casting, they don't use structural battery packs. And the, the truth is the ID platform, as in the MEB platform, it's relatively heavy. Um, even its engineers say it's sort of over-engineered. The reason why they're working on a newer version, a lighter version. So the battery size, it's an 82 kilowatt hour NCM chemistry battery pack, so a lithium ternary pack, not an LFP pack. You would think it would have pretty good energy density. You would think the car would get pretty good range, but I mean, really, it wasn't getting that much range. Prior to this update, it was getting 275 miles of range. It's now getting 291, so an extra 16 miles of range, generally to achieve an additional 6% of range, which is what this is, 5.8% improvement. You would need to make some pretty serious changes, but you don't if you change the drive unit. So that's how Volkswagen have been able to get this extra range. What they did is they changed the rear drive unit to a much more powerful one. So with an internal combustion engine vehicle, right, the end, you give the engine more power, you upgrade the power, and you 99% of the time that I've seen, uh, the car becomes less efficient. You give it more power, and therefore it uses more power. It doesn't improve efficiency, the efficiency gets worse but in this case, that's not what happened. Volkswagen removed the drive unit, 150 kilowatt. It's about a 200 horsepower drive unit. They replaced it with one that has 210 kilowatts. So that's nearly 300 horsepower. And as a result, this new drive unit, it's more efficient and it increased the range. So not only did it increase the range, but it boosted the power by, what's that, about 30%. Previous model had around 275 miles of range pretty similar to the Tesla Model Y. The new model though, it has 291 miles of range, 5.8% more than the previous model. But the all-wheel drive versions haven't received the same boost. The all-wheel drive version was rated at 263 miles, but it's only received an eight mile improvement or 3.1%. So you can see here that um, just making this one small change means you're gonna get a big improvement in range. Another big change that you can make to cars is doing things like heated seat belts. I know that sounds crazy, but truthfully, heated seat belts makes a big difference. If you try to heat the whole car using a heater, you use way more energy than you do if you use a heated seat belt. So that's something that apparently is gonna be coming out in new electric cars over the next few years. Heated seating, that's a good option too, but heated seats and heated seat belts, they're a much more efficient way to keep your car warm and to save energy. So all this, what this means is that the 2024 Volkswagen ID4 Pro, it has 113 miles per gallon or around 298 watt hours per mile. It's a 5.4% improvement. Now the all drive version, because it's heavier, um, and of course you get drivetrain losses by adding an additional motor, it uses, it's about 10% less efficient. Now, unfortunately the standard range model 
hasn't really benefited much because it, it, it doesn't have the change to the motor, right? The standard range vehicle has very poor range, I think. Only 209 miles. 209 miles from a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's that's disappointing. But you can see here how the efficiency is being really affected, well, really changed enormously by that, that more efficient electric motor. So what are the prices? Oh, you can get an ID4 in its base specification with, like I said, a fairly limited range, the range of 209 miles. That one costs 39,000 US dollars. It's pretty cheap because it does qualify for the full tax credit of 7,500 US dollars, meaning it comes down to $32,790. So $33,000 for a Volkswagen ID4 Pro. But like I said, the trade-off there is the very limited range. And the cheapest model you can get with the new range, 292 miles, is the rear-wheel drive ID4 Pro with 19-inch wheels. That comes with the 82 kilowatt hour pack. And that one is actually, I think, a pretty good deal. It's 44,000 US dollars. So 44,000 US dollars, remove the 7,500 tax credit. By the way, that's a point of sale credit next year. So starting from January onwards, you pay that price at the dealership assuming the dealership doesn't overcharge you anyway. So that means it comes to 37,800 US dollars for an electric car, which is a pretty big size car. It's a decent size, the ID4, slightly smaller than a Tesla Model Y. 37,800 US dollars with 291 miles of range. Now I think by 2030, you'll be looking at maybe like closer to 500 miles of range for a car that costs that price, but let's wait and see. One change that will be coming to Volkswagen vehicles over the next couple of years is lithium ion phosphate batteries, which will make them possibly even cheaper than what they are today. But let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.